So this weekly analysis a lot go deep in many pairs. Why? Because we have only two days for the month candle to close. So we have today and tomorrow from the, for, for the monthly candle to close. So I have only picked three pairs to do weekly analysis. Then once this week ends, I will not only do weekly analysis, but I'll be doing a monthly analysis. So on, on Wednesday, expect a video on the monthly analysis. And I think we'll be doing all the pairs on the monthly and we'll be dropping the ones that you should pick and the ones that you should pay attention. So in this lesson 54, I will analyze GBP, NSD, Euro GBP and gold. So make sure you watch until the end of the video if you want to know my view on these uh, pairs. Let's start with GBP and SD. Note we are not going to the monthly because the monthly candle has not yet closed. And um, if I try to squeeze this chart to see what happened at this high, you can see there was a high made here. If I try to squeeze the chart, I can see there's another attempt here. So it's for me, it seems like a double top, but if I continue squeezing, there is uh, on the weekly time frame. Uh, let me show you. On the weekly time frame, there is only one double top. Can you see? So this one has not been activated. This top here. So on the weekly, we have we have only a double top that is available on the weekly. But the problem was the reason why we could not trade comfortably this double top, it was still available on the monthly. Let me show you. It was available on the monthly. Let me show you. That double top was still available on the monthly. Can you see? It was available on the monthly. <clears throat> and not only available on the monthly, on the monthly, we can see we have a triple top. So that was a bit confusing because the market has tested one, two, three, and then the previous candle, we got a very big Marbozo bearish end gap. So basically last month or not last month, this month, the market was supporting sale, but you can see the market has sold for how many pips? 600 and uh, has bought with 635 pips. So the market buying back 635, that's so many pips. So for me, I'm looking for a sell position because from the monthly it, has, it had indicated it will sell. And I know many people have been trapped. Comment down below if you are trapped on a sell on GBP and SD. For me, I didn't trade it the whole of this month because I was waiting for a sell opportunity but the market didn't give me a sell opportunity so comment down below and tell me are you trading gbp and sd have you been trapped did you make money let's share our experiences on gbp and sd also comment down below let me know which are pairs that you traded this month and and were they successful what are the lessons that uh, you learned? And I think I'll do that video today. Lesson learned in the month of October. There are so many, many lessons that we have, to, we have learned. So that's, that's the reason why I never paid attention on that double top. For me, I felt the, the monthly time frame is giving me more, more than a, more of a triple top, not a double top. And you see triple top, for me, I believe they have different rules. So... We can see here support was broken. And this is what made me uh, realize that, yes, sellers are stronger. But you see, at the end of the day, the market cannot, it's not a must, it sells immediately. So yes, it will declare I will sell. So what I know is that there's a declaration of a sell. And this market, if we get a sell opportunity, the market is coming back here. So it is coming back more than 483. So this is the best opportunity to trade it this week. But you already know, if we want to sell any market, we need the, the, the patterns. We need a ranging break at support. We need a ranging break at support. We need, we need a ranging break at support, number two. We need a double, <clears throat> a double top. So we are looking for sale, and then we we can look for inverted up and handle. 
So those are some of the things, the patterns I look if I want to sell. So we need to ask ourselves, where do we have ranging? For me, I don't think we have a ranging here. A double top on weekly, it's not yet available. Inverted cup and handle. So is, we're still not sure. We are not given a go ahead of this sale. So let's go to the daily. Already we know monthly sell is supported. Weekly sell is supported because of breaking of support. Monthly it's because of the triple top that had a bearish angle. Weekly the reason of sell is because the support has been broken. So let's go to daily and we see what happened. On the daily time frame, uh, we do not have a pattern, guys. But let me tell you, what do we have? We have one candle. One candle, what? Ranging. One. We have another one. Two. Three. I told you if there are more than three, that gets into the group of ranging. Four. And then we have five. Guys, can you see we have the our first pattern? I told you. There's different pattern. You can have one candle ranging or you can have a ranging channel. So this one is a one candle ranging and that's the pattern we have from the daily. You can see here at the left, we don't have anything. Can you see? We do not have anything here, like a double top. So the one candle ranging is our overall. And this one candle ranging is not clear on the weekly, but it is very clear on the monthly. So I will put a box like that you can see that the market has failed to break that support. So the first pattern we have, this is our pattern one, which is still uh, available. It's not available on the weekly because weekly we don't, we, we, we only have resistance. We don't even have support. So it will be good if sellers this week, they will drop the market. And this pattern is only available on the daily, making it making it very, very useful. So our pattern one is this. So we are hoping that where the market will break, that's the direction the market wants to take. So it's my prayer the market to break so that I can understand what, how to trade this uh, GBP NSD. So it's either it breaks above and it will complete. Remember we say it, one candle ranging completes. So once they break either above or below, they will complete. So we are hoping if the market breaks, uh, that's what we'll get. You see, so if they break above, you see, you're not biased. Don't be biased. That's almost 200 pips. So it's at 200 pips. And you see, they can come below because of this support. So it's like a 200 pips target, but we can't do anything. So wait for today, uh, GBP NSD is a daily check. You will be waiting for daily check for GBP NSD so that we can know when it will break. Let's see for four hour time frame what we got. So on four hour time frame, you can still, we have that uh, double bot, uh, uh, ranging channel. So what I, what I find is that, if this market breaks here, they can come and create a double bottom here. So we have to be very careful and we have to have planned our market. So the market can come here and create a double bottom. So the question is, if the market breaks this channel and comes and hooks itself on this double bottom, is this double bottom available on the, on the four hour? So that's the first question on the daily, sorry. Is it available on the daily? Let's go and check. Can you see, guys? It's available on the daily. So it's not, there's nothing special of the market breaking and will not be like, oh, the market has activated a double bottom. There's nothing special on that area. That area is, there's nothing special. Even this one, there's nothing special on this area because that area is still available on the daily. It's not an area that you can spot and say, you see, that's, that area is, available on the daily but if the market breaks above so that if it breaks below for me i believe it will go that it will cover that distance so no obstacle that can make me think oh the market what so the only thing we can do is to we can trade it in bits but let me tell you it will complete that half so they can first come to that half and then later they continue. But if the market breaks above, 
So from where the market is, from where the market is, the market did not, did not um, activate anything. You can see on the left side, there's nothing that has been activated. But if the market happens to come back and break a little bit, it will be activating two areas. It can activate this double top. So if the market breaks that box, you have to be very careful it not to be a fake out. You know, they can break and you can find a fake out. Why? If they break like that, if they break this channel, one candle channel, they can come and activate a double top on the four hour. So we need to see is that double top available on the daily. Is it available on the daily? It's not. So for me, I believe the market might attempt to break above so that they can activate a pattern. Uh, by the time you, you are trading, you know, you can see they have broken very well. By the time you are trading uh, one candle ranging, they will have activated a pattern. So for me, um, my hands are closed for now. There's nothing I can do. The only thing I can do with GBP and SD is to wait. Uh, for me, I believe that the market can, they can buy, either activate these two areas and give us a double double top that will make this market go down up to the neckline. You can see how neckline is big, you can see. So I will wait, I'll keep you posted on GBP and SD. I have already put alarm zone on these areas so that, um, let me show you how do you, how you put alert, alert. So I want this market, the first alert to alert me on 2.98. Two point zero nine eight. So I'll come here and put my alert. Click my alert. Two point zero nine eight. That's where I want. And then it's closing, closing up. So the market is closing up. So it's going up. So I want if the market hit that every time. So I have already click. I have already created that alert. And then I want also the market if it reaches 2.10, 2.103. This was 2.98. So if I uh two point, I want to put a lot on 2.103. So I'll come here and put another alert. Two point one zero three. Again, it's closing up every time. So for me, I'll just get a notification on my phone saying the market has hit those areas. So, but I will be looking GBP and SD every single day. That's my pair to check. So let's let's check Euro GBP. So for Euro GBP, we have the weekly time frame like this. So you can see Euro GBP is a ranging channel on the weekly. There's nothing much on the Euro GBP we want to see. Already we have identified a ranging channel. Now this is not one candle, this is a ranging channel. Identifying that ranging channel gives us an opportunity uh, to wait for the market either to break above or below. So us having that, we are sure that if the market break either side, we are, we are good to go. So the ranging channel there, it is an opportunity for us to keep checking after every week. So for me, I believe, I believe, um, I believe on Euro GBP it will be a weekly check. So we will come to check after this week end. So it's not like a daily check. Euro GBP, it's not a daily check, it's a weekly check. So just go, there's nothing much to go about it. Just go and um just go and draw this box on Euro GBP. Go and draw this box on Euro GBP and wait for the market to break either side. I don't know why I feel that the market might be breaking above, but we shall know if it breaks. So for you, Euro GBP, it's a ranging channel. Don't overthink it. Don't uh, try to be what? As long as it has not broken that area, and then this one, it's a weekly trade. So this one, once you analyze, just write somewhere so that don't, don't forget on the weekend to come and check. And then 
you leave it alone. You can't trade it on lower time frame because we need that channel to be broken. So I have given you one, one trade that you will be checking on the on the daily, and that's GBP and SD. You're keeping checking on the daily for our. We'll keep checking. Has it done what you have said? But GBP. Euro GBP, it's a weekly check. Why? We want that market to break that area. So this being a weekly check, you just analyze like this and you remove it on your watch list because you don't want to get temptation on buying or selling when the market has not broke. So I'll come back next week again to discuss Euro GBP to see what has happened on Euro GBP. We need Euro GBP to break 0.871. So that there's nothing much. Let's go to gold, the last pair. Um, gold, there's something interesting that happened uh, on with gold. Why? Because it has it has this ranging, like uh, like overall, this market has been ranging. So nobody exactly know the fate of gold because trying to trade, uh, you are trading inside the range, and you already know. If we trade inside the range, what happens? But yes, we have that inside the range, but gold, we can see we have this double bottom that is still available on the monthly. So this double bottom, the fact that is available on the monthly, it's not as strong as you might think. So the fact that that double bottom is available, let me show you. The fact that it is available on the monthly, it's not stronger. So, and the fact that, this market has not come and broke the neckline, they can still go down. So this double bottom, um, it, ha it is on the monthly, it will maybe close like a bullish angle, but our target area is 2.2079. If it has not broken 2079, from where it is to 2079, it's 829 pips. So if they break that area, it will be an area broken since 2020, the market has not been able to break. So it has stayed in one place for three years. So breaking this zone will be very, very good news. How do you trade uh, uh, gold? If at all you don't want to wait for this, we can see that we have a resistance broken, a resistance that was stayed for quite a while since May this year and has been broken October. So we have May, June, July, August, September, October. So six months of resistance broken is not just like that. So once this six months uh, resistance was broken, our question we should ask ourselves, is it fake or continuation? Because you already know we have fake or continuation. Is it a fake breakout or is it an actual breakout? So we can't know unless you go to lower time frame like daily. So when you come to daily, when you come to daily, you can see that the market uh, has a one candle resistance, which it can start to form a double top. So we will be paying attention on what will be happening around here. So that's the only way you can tell you can trade gold. So I want to put this spot around that area. And you see, we had a one candle, one candle ranging here because of this red candle. The market um, really stayed in this area and it broke. So they can, they can approach to the next resistance, which is how many pips? Almost like 200 pips. So we want to see is this resistance available on the weekly. Do we have that resistance? Yes, it's available on the weekly. Can you see if the market approach this area, already that resistance, that one candle we are seeing, it's available. So selling, it's not of option. Why? We say it, if a double top is available on multiple time frame, it is becomes, it's, so that, and you see it is available everywhere. So for me, I believe that I will still stand with, we cannot know the fate of gold unless it breaks out of this neckline. So if, if next month they break out of, that neckline. So it means like gold, I'll not be trading it because me for, for, for me, first of all, I don't like trading gold. So when it give me no reason to trade it, I'm very happy. Uh, so I'm just doing this analysis for everyone who trades gold. Don't rush it. So it seems like the month of November, nothing much will be happening with gold. But 
if they break here, there's chances of buying. So the only thing we can do, the only thing we can do is to look for areas. You see this, they, this green, 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 the market can, can attach itself on a double bottom. Like you can have a double bottom that is not available on the weekly because you're targeting to buy. So when you come to daily, instead of looking to sell, you'll be looking for a double bottom and these are areas. So if this market drops to this area, you have a chance to buy that market as a double bottom. If this market comes to this area, I think that's the only way you can trade gold. If this market comes this way, you have a small double bottom. So that's the only way and safer to trade double bottoms because the approach is a buy. You know that double bottom is has already broken half-headed to neckline. So anyone who is trying to sell gold, they are at risk because that bullish momentum candle indicate buyers are strong. So if you can check on the weekly, there is nothing. We can't see any sell. So that's the safest way to buy the market. You buy when that price has dropped to those areas. If we go to the monthly time frame, you can see we don't have any. So for us, because we can't sell, we can't sell because the market, the double top that we are hoping it is available, but we can buy because already we have been given a um, go ahead. Just go and mark the zones like this and ask yourself if the price come to this area, how will it react? How will it react? So don't buy if the price has not bounced on these areas. So that is it, guys, for the weekly analysis. I hope uh, there's nothing that has been activated. You know, when the market is closing tomorrow, there is nothing much to trade before tomorrow. So I'm just giving you a hands up. And then on tomorrow, we wait for how the market will close. And then I'll do a monthly analysis on Wednesday. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Love you.